Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Semi spotted on California Highway, testing ahead of production. BYD to supply batteries for Tesla Model Y as early as next year, according to Chinese media. Filings reveal, Tesla insurance set to expand to Florida and Maryland. And, Tesla builds first Model Y, with single-piece front and rear castings, and structural battery pack at Giga Berlin. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Tesla Semi was spotted on California Highway 580 recently, testing on public roads, ahead of the truck's initial production. The Semi was spotted by a member of Tesla Owners Club Silicon Valley and showed a Semi running in the fast lane, hauling what appears to be cut down trees behind it. It is the first sighting of the Semi since April and the first since Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced during the Q4 2021 earnings call that the automaker would not introduce any new products into its lineup this year. This seems to include the Semi, which was slated for its first deliveries early this year. The Semi is amongst the most anticipated Tesla vehicles, likely in second behind the next-gen Roadster, which is supposed to be able to fly temporarily thanks to SpaceX cold gas thrusters. However, the Semi has been subjected to numerous delays due to battery shortages, as the Semi requires a vast number of EV cells due to its size. Tesla was ready to begin production in mid-2020, but eventually decided to wait after the demand for the company's mass-market vehicles skyrocketed. The delays have not stopped businesses from requesting the truck for their fleets, however. Tesla has orders from PepsiCo and Carrot Packaging, a manufacturer of environmentally friendly disposable food service products. The Semi will not be the first all-electric Class 8 truck on the market when it eventually enters production. Volvo, Nikola, and others are currently producing all-electric Semi trucks for their clients. Development and testing of the Tesla Semi are evidently still underway, and the automaker could be making additional changes and modifications to the design to improve the already great design. When production and deliveries of the Semi will begin is completely unknown, especially with the parts shortages and unpredictable supply chain issues. Moving to the next update, BYD to supply batteries for Tesla Model Y as early as next year, according to Chinese media. The rumors surrounding Tesla and its alleged battery supply deal with China-based company BYD were rekindled recently. Following a statement from a BYD executive vice president, who mentioned that the company would soon be supplying batteries to Tesla, reports have now emerged, suggesting that BYD's batteries will be used in the Model Y crossover. Tesla China is ramping quickly, and plans are underway to expand the company's vehicle production output further. To accomplish this, Tesla is reportedly looking to build a new facility close to Gigafactory Shanghai. With this plant in place, Tesla China's output could be doubled to about 1 million cars per year. Such an output means that Tesla China would need to secure batteries for the vehicles that it would produce. Today, Gigafactory Shanghai primarily relies on battery cells from CATL and LG Energy Solution. Once the company's new electric car plant is online, however, Tesla would need far more batteries for its vehicles. Citing a source that's reportedly familiar with FinDream's battery, the battery manufacturing arm of BYD, local motoring news outlet AutoTime noted that Tesla would initially be using BYD's battery cells in the Model Y as early as next year. The publication's source also noted that the two companies are moving forward carefully for now. Rumors of Tesla using BYD batteries for its vehicles have been around since last year, but none of the rumors were confirmed. That is, at least, until recently, when BYD Executive Vice President Lian Yubo mentioned a battery deal with Tesla during an interview with state-owned media agency, CGTN. BYD is a good choice for Tesla as its next battery supplier. While BYD is more known for its cars, the company has climbed up the ranks to become one of the world's most formidable battery makers. With this in mind, a battery supply deal with Tesla could be beneficial for BYD, 
as it would greatly help legitimize the company's growing battery cell business even further. Moving to the next update, filings reveal, Tesla Insurance set to expand to Florida and Maryland. Tesla Insurance launched in California in 2019 and has since expanded to six other U.S. states including Arizona, Colorado, Illinois, Ohio, Oregon, Texas, and Virginia. Based on recent filings, Florida and Maryland could be the next two states to join that list. According to a report by Coverager, a website that specializes in insurance products and data, Tesla recently filed with regulators to expand Tesla insurance to both states. In Maryland, the filing reveals, Tesla insurance has a proposed effective date of June 16, 2022, meaning, owners could be able to switch insurance carriers in just a matter of days. Documents from the Maryland Insurance Administration reveal that the primary address for Tesla Insurance in the MD is Fremont, California, and its main website is the EV manufacturer's main page. Tesla Insurance in Maryland deals with insurance related to casualty, health, marine, wet marine and transportation, property and marine, surety, and vehicle liability. Floridians will have to wait a little longer, as the filing with the Sunshine State has a proposed effective date of October 20, 2022. Both filings reveal that Tesla plans to operate the program under its subsidiary, Maritlin Insurance Company. Tesla owners can buy Tesla insurance via the company's mobile app. It is available for current and new Tesla owners. The company's insurance also offers coverage for non-Tesla vehicles for Tesla owners. In California, non-Tesla owners can purchase Tesla insurance. Tesla has rapidly expanded the program this year and plans to expand it further so that 80% of Tesla customers in the US could buy their auto insurance from the company. What makes the program unique is that Tesla sets the insurance rate of its driver from a person's real-time driving behavior. This is slightly different from other insurance companies that use credit, driving records, and other factors to set the rate. To determine the premium, Tesla uses Safety Score, which tracks several driving metrics, provides a score on a 0 to 100 scale, and is available to the driver in real-time through the mobile app. Due to current regulations, this real-time feature is available in all markets except California, but customers can still access their score for education purposes. Moving to the last update, Tesla builds first Model Y with single-piece front and rear castings and structural battery pack at Giga Berlin. Tesla officially started production of the Model Y with a structural battery pack and 4680 cells at Giga Texas earlier this year, making it the only Tesla vehicle factory producing cars with single-piece front and rear castings. Tesla is hoping to change that by adding new production lines at some of their other factories to also produce Model Y with the revolutionary design. The first factory to do this looks like it will be Giga Berlin, as Drive Tesla has learned, crews at the new factory recently built three Model Ys with a structural battery pack. According to a source familiar with the project, the three test vehicles were built on a new secondary body line within the last week. Since the factory's Giga Press machines are not yet set up to create the front castings, the necessary parts had to be shipped in from Giga Texas. Unfortunately, the only part that didn't make it to Grunheed was the 4680 battery cells. Instead, the structural battery pack was put together with a dummy material inside to mimic the actual cells so the vehicles are undrivable. Even though the test builds were successful, this does not mean Giga Berlin will begin producing the new configuration soon. As we mentioned, the factory can't produce the necessary castings. Additionally, the automaker is still building the battery factory on the grounds of Giga Berlin. The facility is not expected to become operational until later this year, meaning Giga Texas will be Tesla's sole source of 4680 cells for the foreseeable future. With Giga Texas currently producing enough cells to make about 2,000 cars per month, there is not enough extra supply to send to other factories, meaning Model Ys with structural packs won't be rolling off Giga Berlin's production lines until the German battery factory goes online 
and until Tesla begins receiving 4680 cells from its battery suppliers. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.